Hello audience, well, warm welcome to Azure Talk and uh, in the last video of the Terraform series, we have brought service principles using Terraform and in this video, I would welcome Sachin here uh, and we will discuss about the client secrets and the uh, service principles authentication in Terraform. So hi Sachin, how are you doing? Hi Vishek, thank you so much. Great. So Sachin, um, uh, I was talking about the client secret. So what is that? Yeah, uh, client secret is a way within Azure to authenticate your app or to create those secrets which we which we can utilize in order to authenticate our Azure base service or in order to provision those resources within Azure. So right. last, I would highly recommend uh, my audience to view our last video demonstration, which was related to how can we create service principle and the relevant secrets key. Right, great. And uh, I would like to see some pr practical demonstration of authentication yeah. using service principle. Please go ahead. Sure, sure. Great, I can see your screen. Yeah, awesome. So here we are, as we have seen into our last demonstration, how can we create Azure service principle? So whenever we create a service principle within Azure in order to authenticate a third party app or a specific app, which is, which wants to use Azure based services, right? Mm -hmm. For that purpose, if you see, whenever we create Azure service principle, we get such output, right? So these are all related to that and all of these properties we will be utilizing in order to authenticate our solution, right? So generally yeah. what we get, we get app ID, display name, name and the password and the tenant. Just to uh, a recap of that, uh, I'm here into my portal, right? As you can see, I have already created one of the app earlier. Uh, .NET Piper Terraform, where you can see Terraform value, directory tenant, and the object ID, right? And all of them I'll be using here, right? I'm jumping into my main TF where we have already written a code base for our purpose, right? I have added few more things into the last where we, uh, where I left earlier. So, but this is the more centric area for the today demonstration, as you can see, we have kept subscription ID, client ID, client secret, tenant ID, right? So all of these value generally, which are here, we get once we have created a service principle, right? So okay. the first one is a client ID. We do have a GUID for that. We do have a client secret and the tenant ID and the subscription. If you notice, I have kept two values into my terraform.tfvars file yeah. and yeah, and into the variables, I have created their respective variables value, subscription ID, client secret, and others. Right. right. Going back to my main.tf, as you can see, I have kept some static value just for those uh, people uh, just for a sake of clarity, how can we write in such a way, right? So once we have authenticate, uh, once we have written all this stuff, so every time into the past video demonstration, you would have seen that every time we have to go with the AZ login command and have to authenticate ourselves in order to provision a certain resource through the Terraforms. So once you have defined all this stuff, then there is no need to write AZ login and gets authenticated yourself every time. So this is one of an advantage of uh, using the client secret and their and the service principle. Okay. So here, uh, just for the recap, uh, I, I do have a resource group, which I am provisioning here along with some virtual network and few subnet into this demonstration. I have added one more subnet, right? Which is the Ayurveda subnet. Right, I have kept it Ayurveda subnet name. Uh, the resource group will be intact as earlier. The virtual network name where it will be provisioned, I have utilized implicit dependency here. Yeah. Right, yeah. It is utilizing Azure VM virtual network. 
which is here web server vnet and its name right yeah. and i have provided one address prefix of 10.0.2.0 oblique 28 right so we would have few ip available as well as i have created one public ip here as well which for that i have kept a name primary and the utilizing some interpolation within terraform how can we create a new name i have kept uh, suffix as a pip just for just to get an understanding of this is yes uh, pip the public interface right public internet ip right and yeah. the location of that and the again uh, we do have resource group where we are provisioning the allocation method will be dynamic we i did not keep it uh, static for now right the another one uh, this is uh, we can ignore and that may be uh, utilizing i'll be utilizing it into the later video demonstration alongside this uh, i have utilized and created uh, one more feature of the terraform which is azure rm network interface for that i have kept a name ayurvedanic and again utilizing interpolation within terraform to provide a fancy name of that right i have kept resource prefix hyphen nick so whenever it will be provisioning it would be ending with the nick network interface card and the yeah. location again will be the, the server location yeah. as you can see i have intentionally mentioned depends on property this time what it does it tells terraform that the network interface must be created only and after the ayurveda subnet has been created okay. so somewhere i'll be integrating this nick card with the subnet right so until unless the ayurveda subnet won't be created or won't be provision it would not provision ayurveda nick for us right okay yeah. and kept some ip configuration value right utilizing subnet id which we are getting at the runtime so this is this was an objective to set depends on here because i wanted to have its runtime id which only gets once it has been it has been provisioned right so once yeah. we have yeah. received all those things so we are we have defined here as well the private ip address ip uh, address allocation i have kept it dynamic and the public ip address uh, which uh, we have just brought up from here right and utilizing its id yeah so all set for now the so i'll be performing a uh, terraform apply today and it will be authenticating itself using that service principle and the client secret which we have created for our own purpose right there will be a small addition to terraform apply uh, there is a one more command uh, into this addition auto approve so every time if you remember we had to type yes because it prompts after after calculating entire stuff but it will be provisioning so it generally ask us to uh, type yes in order to proceed further but once we write auto approve it does not ask for those prompts right yeah yeah so it so, means uh, uh, you need not to uh, manually intervene win it and uh, it will automatically accept the y as a as a parameter indeed yeah, indeed okay. you are absolutely right right so into couple of minutes it will provision so i'll be back as soon as it comes yeah i believe uh, we are able to see the apply has been completed and the five resource has been added right yeah correct 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 so uh, let me jump directly to my portal and here we are right and going to the resource group and i should have a resource group with vaccine rz that we have here yeah and we should have nick card and the pip also there yeah we do have all those thing if i open my virtual network and then we will be able to see we would have three subnets over here as we can see medicine subnet plasma subnet and the ayurveda subnet okay so if you remember i have given 10.0.2.0.28 so generally what mm. it does it allows us almost uh, 16 ip yeah right so uh, five are reserved for azure and 
we do have 11 but we have utilized one and which is given to our nick card if you remember okay. right okay yeah as you can see we do have a private ip address which has been allocated from the subnet which we have recently created with the name of ayurveda subnet right so as there can be one more question uh, so we have provided the to the pub, public ip we kept it dynamic so we are not getting any ip address so dynamic ip does not get its address value until it is assigned to any resource like vm right 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 yeah so uh, i'm concluding it here with the points we have mm -hmm. created a service principle we are utilizing those values subscription id client id client secret and the tenant id in order to provision for that purpose we have also created our one more sub network yeah. which is ayurveda subnet we have created azure public ip we have created network interface and linked it with the sub network yeah. also we have util utilizing one more new way to provision a resource using the terraform apply auto approve with the, which does not ask you for the your inputs like as a, just to type yes and all that's great indeed and in fact, uh, I have also learned something a new partially some some variables you have set here with the value and some variables you brought it from the variable yes. file. And again, yep. one, one more thing is it depends on you clearly mentioned like how the one resource is dependent on other. So the existence of the first resource has to be there then only the another resource could yes. be uh, used. Very well explained. Yes. Very well explained. Kudos. So uh, thank you very much Sachin. And I believe you would enhance this. Uh, the, this description with some more content in the coming videos and we'll come up with uh, something new. So, uh, yeah, sure. Yeah. So uh, Sachin, uh, you can uh, give your introduction. How can you be reached? Uh, like, how can you be accessed to the audience? Yes. Uh, you can reach me on my Twitter handle, which is at the rate .piper. You can reach me through www.netpiper.com or we do have our youtube channel which is cloud pipers and probably uh, we will be uh, bringing in our new facebook page with the azure talk so where we can we will be publishing all this stuff for the subscribers yeah so for subscribers you can see my screen and uh, Sajin, if you can uh, close the screen sharing please yeah Okay, so look at my screen. Uh, you can get the Sachin's details here shortly if you could not hear well. So you can reach him here. Yeah. And if you wanted to talk to me, I am here. My details are here. I'm available on Twitter at the rate uh, uh, Abhimetri is the Twitter handle and son of ice cream at the rate outlook.com is my email ID. And uh, we'll discuss about uh, the Facebook page in the next video. Yeah. Thank you, Sachin. Thank you very much. Stopping for the day. Thank you. Yeah. Bye. Thank you.